You watch Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. Check yourself. Season six. You'll be watching us watch the show for the very first time. You will be getting our natural and honest reactions. We're watching it with you. The scene you're about to see is me pulling up on Carly for a little margaritas and a little tea. Come join me, everyone. You're invited to the Mexican fiesta. Hmm. At not a mi escuela. No mi escuela. Me. Who's the house? It's a mi casa. Yeah. Wait a minute. Now don't be tasting the food and putting it back in there in that car. <laughs> I'm still trying to. It is all I ever dreamed of and more. I can't wait for that to be me. It's going to be you soon. I'm just glad that you and Jock came to a understanding. Why she do that? I'm just glad you and Jock came to a hmm, understanding. Like she the sensei. <laughs> OK, sensei. Yes, sensei. You got to make a decision fast, Carly. Because honestly, I thought that you were just dating Caesar to get back at Jock for dating Tommy. Me? Date another man to get back at another man? Me? Of course I'm dating Caesar to get back at Jock. That's what I do. But he's not mature enough to be with me as yet. Is Caesar? Is that really your man now? I don't know Caesar at all. I just know him from having a tattoo spot. I know he sweat a lot though. A lot of calls. Yeah. A lot of phone sex. Mm. <laughs> Even though we haven't had sex sexually. So you still ain't had sex with him. I don't believe a word Carly is sitting here saying about not having sex with Caesar. I don't believe it. I never believe it. I could die and be born again and I won't believe it. The next scene you're about to see is how honesty is not always the best policy. That's my new single, One Way, and I am eating up the clubs right now with this record. Like, everybody is vibing to it, everybody's feeling it. I mean, look at Melissa. Ain't no limit on the black card. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm with it. Like Carly up to no good with them dusty ass tennis shoes on. Something ain't right. When I saw her with sneakers on. I thought maybe Tommy was coming. I am on top of the world you right now. Be. Engaged after Jamaica. Who invited this bitch? Where are you going, Anchalala? Prancing up in my listening party late with these titties looking like they about to pop out, suffocating in this outfit. The leader never lets me down. She always comes stepping. Like, she looks fantastic. Okay. Hi, Mimi. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm late. Carly started shaking like a dog, didn't <laughs> You get yourself together. You finna have to fight. Come on, Carly. Come on, champ. Come on. Come on, champ. Hey, baby. Oh, Carly. She didn't already start it. <laughs> so let's see where this goes. Stop stalking me. Go to your own party. I'm sure you can find a taco somewhere. Or empanada, or escalator, or elevator. Just don't come to my parties. I need to have a talk with you. Okay. I want to apologize to you. I feel bad because when we first met, mm -hmm. you know how. Oh, but well, wait a minute. Keep the Sierra secret with Mimi. She like Mimi. You know how it was like interesting and mm -hmm. I fed up. That was wrong. I should have never came at you like that. I am very surprised that Carly is moving over to apologize to Uncle Luna. I'm a little thrown off at this point. What was the problem though? Okay, I'm gonna just keep it one. Yeah, please do. Every single time, CB brings up artists a lot. It never ends up good. And then I feel like I'm in the middle of the sh Jocelyn's right there, and I'm like, but you don't have to be in the middle of nothing. Why did you care? Oh, she said, why did you care? That was cute. The TV sign, an artist, or that has nothing to do with you. You don't understand that. Like, you're putting yourself in the middle for no reason. 
Well, bitch, I don't like you. I flipped that bitch, but why don't I like you? <laughs> right in her face. Uncle Luba couldn't do nothing. <laughs> Some bullshit. Sierra. She did not hit Sierra. Oh, Sierra didn't even deserve it. No, watch out. All right, Sierra probably should just stay out of there. You all got the hoes. I don't know. You and Carly look like y'all about the same age, Oopa Boopa. I'm not sure what that was about. I'm not either. But every time I see that bitch, we're going to have some problems. I believe everything she's saying right there. Every time I see that bitch, it's going to be a problem. She convinced me when she said that. But every time I see her, we go have some What I don't understand is why did Carly have an issue with Esther Thank you. from Thank the get-go? She promised Jocelyn that she would stay out of her business and her But what the f does she have to do with Jocelyn? Because she deals with Stevie. Then stay out of it. If you say you're gonna stay out of it, then stay the out of it. Mimi, Mimi just be so aggressive. You just can't say nothing about that. That bang be popping out that neck. You know Mimi is not to be played with. Jocelyn, don't beat her ass with flowers and some more shit, and you ride for this bitch. This ain't got nothing to do with her promising Jocelyn. That's the leader. You know what that was about. Like, come on, man. This is about her calling Carly O in her grand opening. I'm telling y'all what it's about. Like, I know what it was about. Mimi playing crazy and Melissa playing crazy. But a Beluga, she know what happened. She know why that happened.